Hi, welcome to the Purple Ladder. And yes, today we're starting on the journey of the Purple Rain era and the Purple Rain album. I uh, made a few videos about 1984, part one and two. Now let's get into the music. The first song from uh, Purple Rain, the first release, was When Doves Cry, an absolute legendary classic. Yes, and like we always start off, a little information. When Doves Cry is a song by American musician, artist Prince, and it was the lead single from the sixth studio album, Purple Rain. According to the DVD commentary of the film, Purple Rain, Prince was asked by director Albert Magnoli to write a song to match the theme of a particular segment of the film that involved intermingled parental difficulties and a love affair. The next morning, Prince had composed two songs, one of which was When Doves Cry, according to Prince biographer Pierre Nielsen. The song was inspired by his relationship with Vanity Six member Susan Muncy. Exactly. When Doves Cry was Prince's first Billboard Hot 100 number one, staring there for five weeks, and was also a worldwide hit. According to Billboard, it was the top selling single of 1984. It was certified platinum by the Record Industry Association of America, or RIA. It was the last single released by a solo artist to receive a platinum a platinum certification before the certification requirements were lowered in 1989. When Doves Cry was ranked number one on the Billboard Year End Hot 100 Singles of 1984. Following Prince's death, the song recharted on the Billboard Hot 100 chart at number eight. It is first appearances in the top 10 since this, the week ending of September 1st, 1984. The music video directed by Prince premiered on MTV in June, 1984. It opens with white doves emerging from double doors to reveal Prince in a bathtub. Then shows him performing the song in various scenes. The video sparked controversy among network executives who thought that its sexual nature was too explicit for television. When Doves Cry is ranked number 37 on Rolling Stone's list of 500 greatest songs of all time. And the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's 500 songs that shape rock and roll, according to acclaimed music. It is 31st most celebrated song in popular music history. Mm hmm Yeah. Let me get into it a little more again. Prince wrote and composed When Does Cry after all of the other tracks were complete on Purple Rain. In addition to providing vocals, he played all instruments on the track. The song's texture is remarkably stark. There is no bass line which is very unusual for an 80s dance song. Prince said that there originally was a bass line, but after a conversation with singer Jill Jones, he decided that the song was too conventional with his guttural vocal. After the lyrics, there is another much longer guitar and synthesizer. Okay. The song features an intro of a guitar solo in a Lindrum machine, followed by a loop guttural vocal. Okay. <laughs> hmm. The song ends on a classical music inspired keyboard piece backed by another synthesizer solo. Keyboard is Matt Thinks revealed in 2014 that the Barra Synthesizer solo was recorded by Prince at house speed in an octave 
lure against a half speed backing track then sped up to create the final version think then tasked to learn and perform the solo at the album speed wow yeah we'll end that but this is one of the greatest tracks of all time and it's not the greatest track on the album but man the album is so so much of a classic it's one of the most enduring tracks of this year and on that album has no baseline and it still went number one on both charts R&B and pop charts what can you say I think I played this song about a million times in 1984 alone that summer I don't know how many times I played it in my room over and over again you know uh Remember, it came out in May of 1984 on the radio. It was playing like five times a day. So, When Doves Cry was that song. It really, after the Michael Jackson uh, phenom, year before that, Prince had his year. And Prince was on top of the food chain. Mm, no doubt. A lot of people was haters, but people figure out, hey, this guy is a musical genius, that this is his time. He showed everybody what he can do. And When Doves Cry was the uh, perfect song for his genius. And Prince Shine, man. I could never get summer 84. And this song was the vocal point. So shout out to When Doves Cry. One of the greatest songs of all time. Uh, and that's it. Uh, that's it for the Purple Ladder. I want you to like, comment, subscribe. And like always, God bless you. And I'll see you in another video.